Hello, today we are going to talk about my blue eyes on um, deck profile. We're going to go back at it again um, because um, there's some changes. Um, and for the new uh, viewers, it's uh, good to know every uh, card choice, so that's why we are going all over with all the cards. Um, but yeah. Um, little changes in regards to the new set we are just um doing a major change on the extra and side deck um i feel it's really really important that's why we are reviewing it again not reviewing it but you know showing my theory strategy we are playing one no, not one, two, I'm <laughs> sorry, two of the Blue Eyes White Dragon, um, reasons is that you don't want to see it in your opening hand, um, you can still combo with the stone plus as much as, as you would with three, <clears throat> cause the scolder will get, um, the vanillas back, so in those cases you don't need it. Um, the only cases that you need of those is when you already have uh, blue eyes that you hard draw are going first. In those scenarios, you are likely to go through hand traps or play going second. This is another, since it's a uh, less card that you're working with, uh, I don't think it's a really good um, to high up the chances of drawing it. So running three, I don't think it's a good idea. I just think that people do it because of the um, tribute that they want to pay to the anime, the card. Uh, they say um, we want we 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 always heard them saying we are running three blue eyes because it's blue eyes and that's it. They are not going depth on of why on why. They, they run those cards, I don't think, uh, you know, deck building standpoint is a good choice. Two, two is a good number. It's the same thing. Um, if we run three or two, the only difference is consistency. And we want to be as consistent as possible. Then we have Red MD. Red MD um, for the Guardian combo, really good car. Spams your a white stone most of the time um seeing other channels run cards like um heretic um knew it something like that uh, i don't think that's uh consistent enough um this card is only inconsistent when you draw it so even if you draw it and you manage to um with the card dragon combo you can still um summon um fairy dragon and discard it the red md and use it with pisty so no reason why to uh, complain in those scenarios we are cutting we are maximizing on consistency in this deck so uh, red md will not be an issue a lot of the times um we are running like um the same here we're talking about only one um, alternative is a uh, once per turn summon on hand so you don't want to see it after you summon it first first time um, but it's overall a really good card searchable by Melody, searchable by Fairy Dragon good going second for rank 8 and for um, like material then we have uh, and it's a bit like uh, the next one Chaos Dragon Levenir Chaos Dragon Levenir it's set up, I have seen people play 2 or 3, it's just not good, it's good in Thunder Dragons because it banishes the Thunder Dragons and you get their effects like they used to do with Fairy Tail back in the day. We are not playing uh, Thunder Dragons, we are playing Blue Eyes, you know, we aren't getting those uh, extra um, interactions. Um, the only thing that may come up is um, use um, Emperor to um, get back one of the banished cards that we are using with his living here, but I think that's reason to run three because it's a card that needs a lot of setup. 
and you're not getting that value that you get in Thunder Dragons. It's really hard to set up with this uh, card in order to get it on the field, but it's still a really, really good card. Um, searchable by Melody and searchable by Furry Dragon. Um, most of the time, you're gonna use going first the light effect unless you have so many extenders that you don't need to um, but yeah um, you will do and you will do that going first banish 3 so you can special summon red md and go more into um, place um, then we are running only one day your bigfoot and then your thunderbird because if they get discarded and they don't do nothing. They still are easier to summon than, let's say, um, Chaos, Levineer, and Alternative, since they don't need any other setup. The only thing that they don't need is to hit themselves, so that's why you're running two of it. It can be safe because they're the same card, but still, you don't want to. You don't want to see it that much, that's why you're running one of each. They're like one card. They, they are like one, they, they, they don't have much difference. Um, one is good against um, face up cards and one is good against set up. I mean set um, face down, sorry. Um, Bigfoot good uh, against um, Thunder Dragon Boards or God Dragon Boards to get rid of uh, Red Dragon Archfiend. Um, good against um, Majesty's Fiend, Dark Law, Floodgates like um, Anti Spell, um, the card that card um, Royal, no, the one that negates uh, spells, um, also Macro Cosmos, um, the Fisher, cards like that, um, or any face up monster going second, Big Beater like uh, Alternative and Chaos Liberty. And then we have the Your Thunderbird that pops on back row, really good against back row decks. And they are extenders. They just uh, get you to draw cards while being a body on the field, a big body. Then we have uh, the Your Nancy tree because it's more consistent. It's a, for sure, it's a summon. Um, if it's discarded, if it's discarded, you get your own Jackalope. Jackalope is a special summon for sure. So that's why, and, and if it's um, not discarded, then you special summon and draw a card. It's really, really good, and it goes to your level 8 or your level 4s. So the key um, le levels in this deck is level 1 tuners, level 4s, and level 8s for Ip and for rank 8. So it's a really, really important card in regards to helping into the consistency and what the deck wants to do. It can go to Skuldra, it can go to Ip, and it can go to um, um, level 8, rank 8 plates. So it's really, really good. Then the Strudel is really easily uh, dumped by any of the Foolishes, just once per turn. So it's better to run the Foolishes that are not once per turn and get it. And if you already have it, dump any other card. Then we have Chupacabra, it's not as consistent as um, Nancy or Jekyll, but they still, but it still um, serves on the purpose of summoning a level 4 or a level 8, if you have it in the grave. So that's really really good, that's why we're running him, only one because it needs a danger already on the, on the, on the grave. And then we have a uh, Black Collapse Serpent and White Buster, 3 of each. Um, we're running three of each because it plays around um, cards that hand traps that don't target or traps in general that don't target like Sun Strike. Uh, but most importantly, because of hand traps like Azure Blossom, um, what's the other card? Um, Gamma, Ghost Bell, cards like that, Ghost Ogre. Um, you will summon a link or a synchro with these uh, two monsters and you will protect the monsters that you are summoning with them against cards like that. So that's why you run 3 and 3. 
they are all extenders too and they are little dragon for little and dragon place really really cool so cards then your mothman a level 4 for it plays this it discards um cards is really consistent in certain um extent but it's not as consistent as other dangers but still really good it triggers other cards in your hand to fill up the grave and do their effects and it's a level 4 for the it play most importantly and like all the dangerous rush you cards gets into your deck I mean, I mean side deck um, all the dangerous since they draw you cards they are extenders so they play good through um, interruptions then we have Jackalope same as Nessie really really consistent and it goes to any of your uh, most important plays then we have a uh, favorite dragon only one what leg what shell is only one and stone only one they are easy to dump so that's why we run one and one of each and they are normal summons you know they can be dumped um, um, although they're really important they're highly um, searchable uh, they can be special summon out of low card dragons they're really easy to get out um what shall is we all know what fairy dragon dragon do does so, sorry it searches prime searches most important most importantly the black dragon collapse serpent and chaos levenir um but yeah that's a uh, really really good card searches any of the dragons then we have our dragon word i mean what shall it card dragon um we are running it because of it it will get it out and you will not use a uh, world chalice card dragon for your card dragons instead you will protect your place from impermanence and um baylor we see a lot of free plays where they use um quickly the world chalice guard dragon since they are playing that bad build um i think it's a bad build of the draco net turbo where they just want to open that open that one card combo and depend on that one card combo and that's it and they don't get to do other stuff just that and by that means they need to use a uh, war chalice guard dragon and they just automatically lose to hand traps if they don't open um um call by the grave in the in this step what we do is summon him let it be there and just protect your place and that with the black and white serpent it protects you from so many hand traps you get through two hand traps easily in this deck then we have stone stone is easily uh, dumped by any card it can be search i mean summon um with other cards um so that's why you run one then we have two sages and it's because it's a better summon than the three mentioned before um you can get a stone and it would not clog your stone um, because you will plus with the sage then plus with the stone you won't um you won't um um get to those scenarios where you already have all uh, vanilla in your hand and the stone becomes uh, less important because it doesn't plus you as much the sage will get you to plus more in those scenarios uh, also uh, it special summons on level 8 so it has another um, application there doesn't need to be normal summon to be useful so that's why we run too um, that's another reason then we have effect bailer oh, and also can search effect bailer so that's another application there then we have effect bailer um, it can be a hand trap but at the same time um, it can be a combo card so that's why we're running it too because it can be through the course of games it would be also used as interruption so it would not be a normal summon so that's why you also run in two of it because it has more than just normal summon applications then we have global seems so, same as the other little card dragons you just need one it's a normal summon 
but it can also be discarded or done by uh, foolish and or special summon by uh, what for one it's a really really good card good for going into your links because it's a level I mean it's a link 2 by itself and it can go into it link place it plays then we have Chaos Emperor, Emperor, self explanatory. Uh, the scale effect is really, really good. Um, but just, you know, another level 8 is dark for number 22, and the pop effect of damage is good in time and it can come up really. I had used the card for it, and it can be really handy on some situations. Then we have a uh, Amorphage Sloth. Mm, we're running him instead of Amorphage Goliath because it's easier to summon it. When you have it in hand and you don't have another play, you get interrupted. It's like summoning a Majesty's, I mean a Vanity's Fiend. Uh, you just need one um, external in order to summon it, so that's why we're running him over him, over the Goliath. Then we have a. Uh, and you know, you can get it out with. Um, Heavenly Spheres. Then we have uh, Dragon Shine, Foolish, you know, self, self explanatory, Monster Reborn, 1 for 1, the same, self explanatory. Then we have uh, 2 Terraforming. Also, we're running each, so, you know, we don't need, but we're gonna go into why we don't want. Um, it's a, both cards are big uh, monsters. They can be searched, so and there's no need to run more than one of each. Um, Dragon Shine is once per turn. Um, Foolish is unlimited. Um, Monster Reborn is limited. One for one is limited. They are all good cards. They don't need um, that much explanation. Then we have Terraforming. It searches your side deck, um, the Black Garden, and the Trickster Life Stage for um, back row and Mystic Mind matchups. And it also searches your Ravine. Foolishes, Foolishes, more Foolishes. Um, do it for your deck. Then we have Melody, and we're running two because it's limited, right? Then we have uh, the Melody, three. Um, I've seen people run two of Melody and let's say two of uh, Alternative. I think that's really bad. You want to search what you want. You want to open what you need. No hard draw. Hope to do hard draw something that will be useful and pray it's good no you need to search what you what the situation calls so that's why you're running melody over to kills of ebony or i don't know those weird ratios that i see some bad um arguments on why you should run more i mean you should run too i don't get it i rather see run more Consistent cards at three, then these bad cards at two, or and reduce the amount of the really of the best um searches for for them. Don't get it. Then we have a one where legacy succession was per turn and it can be searchable by it. Same as World Legacy Guard Dragon. You want to most of the time search on the World Legacy Guard Dragon to move your LP. If you just have one on dragon, since you won't, you would not use, like I said, the World Chalice Guard Dragon. You want to protect your place with War Legacy Guard Dragon. I mean, with War Chalice Guard Dragon. Then we have a uh, Dragon Rabine, same as any foolish, really good card. Then we have King Dragoon. King Dragoon is better than Archfiend for me because. It gets around Electric Virus, Widow Anchor, well not, well not well, Widow Anchor, but it doesn't have to negate Widow Anchor. Um, and it doesn't lose to Panker Traps, it doesn't lose to Draco Traps, it doesn't lose to what other cards? Um, there's many cards. Oh, then your Bigfoot. There's many cards that use their cards in the group, resolve the, their effects out of the field and they get around um, Archfiend. I think this card is better for that. And it's also an, extend, an extender. So you would 
sometimes you like it or not even if even if you um resolve scoldred sometimes you would not get a good good hand in order to finish up your combos the way you want king dragoon gets you into that more likely and it, there's so many reasons why you want to run him over archfin then we have ib um like I said, it plays through hand traps and it's a good extender. Then we have a uh, Coach King Giant Trainer. When we have uh, excess, excessive level 8s on hand, we need to summon him. There's gonna be hands when where you start your 5 cards with 3 level 8s that can be summoned. You can summon him then, right, right, right away. And also, um, going mid. Going after the first uh, Skuldre, you may want to do him um, before going to level 8 because you would sometimes get a lot of level 8s again. Like I said, you don't want to club with them and that's a way to get rid of them and go back and have a nicer place to summon Nightmare Griffin to um, because Giant trainer will get into more extenders it will get your level 8s on the grave so that's really really good and also it uh, is good in time um, because of the burn effect then we have a uh, number 22 some is damn good against some um, trap cards and spell cards evenly match mystic mind any trap or spell heavy deck or any card any deck that plays trap or deck, trap or spells. Then we have a uh, Hope Avenger to protect um, the Heretic spells, you know, negate spells. Then we have a uh, Nightmare Griffin, stops decks, random decks like, um, which one could be? Um, uh, Cardians, they may get around these fields. Mm. Heavy Monster um, decks. Um, they get around those. Um, then we have um, Skuldred, really good card. Gets um, rid of the guard dragons and draws you cards and enables you to special summon, go for OTKs, bo uh, go uh, goes and boosts your monsters stats. Really, really good card. Opens your league zones. Triple burst for the same thing as um, Skuldred to get rid of the guard dragons and keep on summoning um, dangers for example then we have uh, and it's also good against some um, monster effects um, that trigger on um, battle phase damage step I mean then we have a uh, cypher lord lamp lamp Lambda, whatever, um, is better than Bika because of light, and we are running him over Lamb Fornicus because it has more attack. That's it, but yeah, really, really good card. You need it because it's light, it's gonna be your third, um, light for Chaos Dragon Lavernia, so that's why you want to run him. Then we have a uh, Heretic Seal, you already know. Self explanatory, the guard dragons, and link to ensure that you have that you fold your grave to ensure your level one place, you know, um, get your chaos um, fuel in the grave. Then in the side, Lancia, um, for, for your two drake, I mean two drake or not, um, your combo decks like like um, Thunder Dragon and uh, what's the other card I mean the other deck uh, Orcus um, then we have Denko against Trap against Trap decks against Sky Striker against Mixed Divine Geo Material against um, Salomon Grade um, combo decks like Thunder Dragon and Orcus effect better for combo decks or any um, decks that use monsters um, that rely a lot of, of, on monsters 
Then we have Black Garden for Sky Striker and Mystic Mine. Fixture Light Stage against um, Black Road Deck and Typhoon against um, against Pendulum against um, Orcus and against Black Road Decks. So you see that we have a nice side deck that is um, aiming against every every relevant relevant deck in a good ratio. We have three, three, we have three. We have two Terra, one Light Stage. So that's three cards against back row, six cards if we count Typhoon, twelve cards if we count Denko Seca um, against back row, against uh, combo like Thunder Dragons, three Lancia, three Genome Material, three um, Effect Bailer. We have um, against Pendulum, three um, Typhoon, three Effect Bailer, three Genome Material. Against Sky Striker, we have Denko, Typhoon, the Field Spells. We have a lot. So, there you have a lot of a lot of uh, good um, use of the side deck. Thanks to the to, thanks on how the main deck is built. So, there, there you have it a nice, really, really um, good deck. It's uh, better than. Um, the Draco Net Turbo, I think that's to normal summon Reliant. It's really, really bad. Um, it forces you to run cards like Cobalt and Rave when you can just depend on your combo cards to protect you from hand traps. Um, it doesn't go second against trap decks. No way it's gonna win that. Uh, this deck has the possibility to win. Uh, even going into first game, um, what else? Um, just wanna say that the end board is gonna be always um, like 90 percent Heretic Seal, um, Nightmare Griffin, and it's gonna be linked. Um, Number 38, Zombie Stain. So you have um, five interruptions, I mean, five um, kinds of ways to stop the opponent in Amorphous Shot, um, Heretic Seal, um, Nightmare Griffin, Hope Abberger, and number 22, Zombie Stain, plus any other effect bailer or work challenge that you can get to hand or back into your hand. That will be it, thanks.